Quickly, I just wanted to talk to the audience real quick and ask some questions. By applause, who here knows me from the Kaiju cast? Going back in time, do you guys know I used to be the webmaster for Henshin Online? Oh, I didn't know that. Way back before that, I was the Shrine of Gamera creator. Oh, that old website. I am a huge, huge fan of this man's Godzilla and Gamera films. And I am so, so excited to be able to finally talk to him, especially in front of you kaiju geeks. Please help me welcome to the stage, who's already here, obviously, Shusuke Kaneko. Thank you so much for coming to Chicago and to G-Fest 26. Uh, we have a lot to cover, so let's please begin with your younger days. How did you decide you wanted to be involved in the film? Um, uh, when I was uh, 16 years old, uh, in high school, uh, I made way to the classroom. Mm. Uh, I saw the film. Uh, okay, I have had time. Manga comics is something that you do on your own, but film is something that you do together with all your friends, so it brings more people together and it was a lot more fun. <laughs> uh, my mother was an artist, but she um, kind of said that my uh, work is not that good for a few manga, so maybe do something else. <laughs> and uh, some of the competitions or contests for the mangas, uh, he was not able to um, get any awards or prizes. In regards to film, I didn't receive any backlash. <laughs> so I know you worked uh, on many movies before you actually made it to Daie, but I was wondering how you could, if you could tell us what it was like to decide to or be chosen to work on the reboot of the Gamera series. あの、ゴジラ uh, I've always been a Godzilla fan, and when I first watched the Godzilla vs. Mothra commercial, uh, there wasn't the name of the director, so I sent a postcard and with a memo saying that I wanted to be the I want to be the director of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> 
デューサーはいい人で、あの富山さんなんですけど、富山、その時、えー、ともうあのモスラー、タイゴジラはあの、大河原監督に決まっているんで。And the producer,、uh, Tomohara, was a very good person, but the、uh, director for the Mothra vs. Godzilla was already decided. But、um, he said, Oh, let's have a drink and we can talk it over. それであの大英が、えー、あのカメラを企画しているときに、えー、あのカメラの担当の人が、えー、連絡くれて、えー、あのカメラでゴジラの敵を撃ちましょうよっていうふうに、えー、言ってくれたんですね。And... Uh, the Japanese film industry is very small, so the rumors spread very quickly. And、uh, this, um, this experience of、uh, talking with a producer and being able to uh, start um, being involved with the Godzilla and Gamera series、uh, it actualized. So,
事にした方がいいんじゃないかっていうふうなふうに思ってたで先生それは何でだって言ったらあのかカメラからね、えー、ちょっとコ,コミックなんじゃないかっていうふうに思って、まあ、空飛ぶんで回転しながら空飛ぶっていうカメ,カメラなんでだからそれはあのシリアスに作るよりコメディにするのがいいんじゃないかなと思ってたんですよね。And、in the beginning, I couldn't really take it seriously,、uh, first of all, because of the low budget, and also because the character is a turtle. So, <laughs> and a flying, a flying turtle, so he thought,、uh, I thought that I should make it into a comedy rather than something serious. <laughs> で本格的に作るんだったらその脚本を、えー、伊藤和則さんっていうそのアニメーションの,あのシナリオライターなんですけど、うんえー、一緒に、まあ、あのアニメの仕事をしたことがあるのとその、えー、伊藤さんも怪獣ファンだっていうこと。思い出してそのスクリプトをお願いしたんです。And but the, I realized that the producer was very serious and passionate about this. So、uh, one of my、uh, good friends, the, an anime、uh, screenwriter,、uh, I asked them, I asked him to create the script, and we made, we、uh, started to really、um, put more of our souls into it and to try to create some. A very good story. そしてあの、えー、そのスクリプトを読んだらびっくりしてこのままその面白いと思ってそしたらすごくこうあの気持ちが合わせるっていうかあ,あと時間あんまりないよと思って、えー、焦り出したっていうことありますね。Really, uh, it really struck a chord, and I felt a lot more nervous about、um, starting this because,、uh, like,、um, taking into consideration the time,、uh, I, I began to be nervous about if I can be able to do it、uh, in time or not. と思っていたんで、で、えー、非常にあの迷って迷ったっていう時なんですね。And also because the special effects director was also not decided yet, so there are many、uh, obstacles and many factors that were still missing, which is why it also added to my nervousness of、um, If I would be able to finish this in time. Well, is it okay to continue talking about this? Absolutely, that's why we're here. Good. So, the, I know, well, so I don't know, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I don't know what I'm talking about. There, there are so many things that I don't know where I should start, where I should continue to go talk about. それがともこのシナリオはあんま子供向けじゃないんで、あの結構反対意見が大英の中で出てきたんですね。And within d a e there is there are many um uh insults regarding the movie because uh the Godzilla in inside d a e they are more um Aiming towards children, so、uh, kaiju, a different monster versus Godzilla,、um, those are the type of movies that、uh, they are more into. So many of the people there 
were a little skeptical about this uh, Gamera story because it's a lot more serious than uh, just the regular kids type of kaiju um, story. まあ、それでその、え、要するに昔のカメラはですね、え、あの、子供の見方なんですよ。で、あの、プロデューサーは、あの、カメラ、子供の見方なんだってもう何回も何回も言われて、うんざりしたんですか。And in the past, Gamera was always the hero, the children's hero, always um not never the enemy. And uh, the president always wanted to keep it that way, but I was kind of sick of that. <笑><笑>そう、あの、昔のね、ガメラで嫌だったのは、その、子供が、あの、ギャオスの名前をつけるというのが心があって、え、それで、あの、え、なんでギャオスかっていうと、ギャオっと鳴くからだよっていう、そ
it would make sense um, how we can make sense that the gamma would be um, a children's ally and how it would be convincing. I'm a very logical person, so uh, with this type of um, talk, I was able to eventually convince everyone to create this type of story. Is it okay like this? Yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, I like to put things really conversational and hear the stories that these people have to tell, so absolutely okay. Alright, alright. Well, so the, uh, to, ano, crank, in a chokzani, mo, And even right before the premiere, I was locked up in my room and they tried to convince me to change the story, but in the end, I was able to use uh, my logical brain and convince them uh, to accept it. Nice. And it was uh, very big for me that uh, I was able to protect this story. So, I was able to convince them also because uh, Gamera is the children's ally, which also means that um, he is the uh, human race's ally. So, uh, in the end, I was able to um, convince them well. Uh, one problem that we faced was the low budget, so we weren't able to use the Japanese self-defense forces, so instead we had to um, come, uh, talk with the police and try to get them to uh, help us out in the movie. At the time, the Japanese self-defense forces stopped uh, getting involved, cooperating with the kaiju films because of the Godzilla vs. Mothra. In that movie, Godzilla attacks Mothra, and um, Mothra it was the 
uh, ally of the children, so um, there are many controversies about um, Godzilla being an enemy. So uh, at the time, the self-defense forces decided to stop uh, cooperating with kaiju films. Uh, with that came the birth of G-Force, but uh, it still seemed difficult uh, in that regard. So, but with the cooperation with our crew, we were uh, able to get the self defense forces to cooperate again and to uh, bring a uh, better image of what it really is about. And we were able to bring more reality of the uh, true presence of the self-defense forces, of how uh, the, the self-defense forces will not attack unless um, attacked. And it was also very helpful that the self-defense forces didn't ask for money. <laughs> so the movie was very supportive of the self-defense forces, which is why they did not um, ask to be paid. あの、例えばカメラ3 during Gamera 3, the self-defense forces was a sponsor and the, they would um, use all of their bullets during the scenes and um, were very cooperative in helping to create uh, this um, film. And they also uh, sometimes required a lot of um, first aid, and uh, at the end of the day, they would say, oh, we're, we're missing some things. And in the beginning, there were um, five gals, but then we reduced the number to three. There was also a scene where the self-defense forces, uh, they used a plane to crash into the Tokyo Tower, but because of uh, political issues, that scene was cut. それとかあの、ま、それの他にもえ、いろんなあの、予算にも
削ったことがあります And there are many other scenes. 会場のデザイナーとして来た時にあの僕はかんかん、えー、特撮のことなら何でもできるっていう、えー、言ってあおーと思ってびっくりしたというのがスタートなんです And the start of the tokusatsu area was、uh, the artist, Shinji Higuchi.、Uh, I met him and he said that I, I'll be able to do anything. So that's how the tokusatsu part started. まあ、あのあの樋口さんは、えー、そのアメリカでのウルトラマンの、えー、仕事があったんですけど、えー、その時の,あのレポート写,写真集にして、えー、見せてもらったんですよ。And、uh, he had、uh, Mr. Higuchi, he had worked、uh, in the Ultraman in America and showed me a photo book of what he has、uh, worked on. So it brought me reassurance of、um, being able to trust him. そのビルの引っかかがあのこう,うまくなかったらしいんですね。Uh, in America, when they were filming the tokusatsu,、uh, the special effects scenes,、uh, the buildings were not really placed well, so、uh, there were a little bit of issues in that area. でまあその木口さんと特撮ツビッツのミーケーさんで、えー、あのその。ビルをあのミニチュアのビルを近づけて設置するっていうことをしたんですね。So Mr. Higuchi along with another、uh, tokusatsu artist called Mike,、uh, Mr. Mike, they、uh, decided to、uh, bring the buildings closer together or like, decide、um, how they can make it look more real. それであのまあ、アメリカは国土が広いから、多分そのビルとビルの間があの広いと思うんですよ。それはあの日本の場合はこう狭いところにいっぱい、えー、ビルが建ってるので、そういうのをあの詰めたりしてで、ちょっとこう角度をずらしたりしながら置いていくとリアルになってますね。Because America is a lot more spacious than Japan, the buildings、uh, will not really look that、uh, weird if the, if the buildings are like, spread out. But in Japan, because it's a lot smaller country,、um, the buildings are a lot more close together. So、uh, for the filming, for the Japanese、uh, films, they needed to bring the buildings closer together to make it look more real for the Japanese people. Mato. そのラ,イトライティングがすごく、えー、セットでこう撮ってるとあの限度があるんですけど太陽の光を使うと、えー、カメラの,あの焦点距離がこうあの短くなるんですごくあのちゃんとロケーションのように見えてる。Uh, if we just use lights in the set, there's a lot of limitations, but if we use the sunlight, the、um, natural sunlight, we have a lot more、uh, freedom to、um, be able to make the scenes look a lot more real. っっ 
We also brought more reality to the film by uh, putting in more human perspective. In the past, it was more about the uh, kaiju monster's perspective, but through um, bringing in more of how the uh, humans view it, the human side, we were able to bring more reality to the film. Uh, this is pretty much it. <laughs>
for example, uh, for the Kyoto station, uh, because we had used it uh, previously, uh, we were able to uh, break it as much as we wanted. But for uh, we, when we created a new one, um, because we didn't have enough money to create more, uh, we there were many um, blockages, obstacles of not being able to uh, create exactly what we wanted. There, looking back, there are many parts, many aspects of the um, film in regards to the Tokusatsu where um, many things are breaking, flying away. Uh, those type, looking back, uh, there are many changes that I want to make. May I have some water? <laughs> Next question. Okay, so uh, like the panel before, we were kind of running low on time. We only have about 10 minutes left. So, hang on, man. I've, I got a whole, I've got like 55 <laughs> questions or something for this man. Uh, we need to talk a little bit about Godzilla and uh, Godzilla, Mothra, King, Peter, the giant monster is all out attack. So. <laughs> We know, uh, hardcore fans know that there were several iterations of the script before it became Godzilla, Mothra, and King Hydra, and Baragon. So I'm wondering if you had any, uh, any favorite previous iterations of that script, versions of the script before those monsters were chosen. In the beginning, we thought that we would be able to use those three characters, but then uh, the, um, the top people in Toho Studios, they said that Godzilla is um, no longer that popular, so uh, we can't go on with that uh, plan. Uh, but Mr. Tomoyama told uh, the Toho Studios that uh, I, that um, at Mr. Kaneko, uh, he has worked really hard and he has already made a lot of preparations. 
so uh, we can't just stop. So uh, they negotiated, and Toho Studios uh, accepted as long as uh, Mothra and the King Ghidorah would be used. I always wondered what the caveat was for that, like why you had to use Mothra and King Ghidorah specifically. <laughs> This meeting was done in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> During the, that time, uh, I was racking my brains and thinking, oh, do we really need to use uh, those two characters instead? I wanted to use the uh, Angaras and... Uh, and I, I had um, some like, uh, hard feelings about having to use those in the beginning. I was worried because King Ghidorah is a space monster, so uh, I was worried that the uh, many of the audience would not like that, so um, that was also part of my worry. Yeah. だけど、その、えっと、特撮の神谷さんも最初のうちは、あの、違和感があったんだけど、だんだん、あの、やってるうちに、え、この方が、え、こう、派手になって面白いんじゃないかと思うようになった。in the beginning, the Tokusatsu team as well was a little bit skeptical, but as they continued to work on it, uh, they um, just felt that it was the right choice. It, it looks really well. まあ、あの、バランとアンビラスだと、え、リアルだ。リアルな、その、日本守る怪獣っていうのは設定にはリアルだけど、え、見た感じ、みんな土の色なんで in the beginning, the characters that I had wanted to use, they are very dull in color, so uh, if the um, if you look from the audience's perspective, it would all be brown characters, so it looks a lot better now, and um, that's why I was able to feel satisfied after the creation. その15分間の間ですね。え、要するにゴジラシリーズが止まるか続くかっていう、そういうあの情報だったわけです。That 15 minute meeting was really a meeting of whether Godzilla would continue or not. だからまあ、さっき結果的にはよかったかなと思いますけどね。So in the end I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Fantastic. footprint all over it and uh, we only have really a, another minute left so I'm, I'd like to say uh, you haven't made a kaiju film since 2001 would you ever make another one I don't have any current plans to make another kaiju film, but I would really like to. Excellent. I would like to thank Shusuke Kaneko for being here, for being at Shusuke.